I'm Sarah Walton. I am a Year 6 teacher. I am responsible for the foundation subjects at Westfield and I am the assessment coordinator. I also monitor outdoor learning. My name is Tim Sheriff. I'm head teacher at Westfield Community School. We're an outstanding school that serves the most deprived community in Wigan. Today we will be doing a maths lesson all about area. The main objective was to find out the area, perimeter and circumference of 2D shapes and for some of the children we moved them on to finding the volume of 3D shapes. I'd like you to make me a circle. I'd like you, once you've made that circle, I'd like you to work out the circumference. Now this is a skill that we have looked at before. Now I want to see how well you can remember that. If you're struggling with that, you are free to have a wander around and you will notice I have pinned up, pinned up some of the formula. So if you need to use that formula as your starting point, then that's perfectly fine because you will always be given a formula for something like that. Go and get it and I want to see if you can then use and apply your skills to actually use that formula to work it out. There's a lot of anxiety at the moment within the teaching profession about the removal of levels. However, I see this as an opportunity to actually reflect on why we assess and how we assess. To us, the removal levels is an opportunity to, to look at formative and summative assessment, the daily practice of what children do and how to move the learning forward. Working without levels will not change my practices in massive detail. It will make me much more aware of where the children are on a daily lessonly basis. It will make sure that we are watching exactly what the children are doing, moving them on or consolidating further. It's an ongoing process which has always been the case but it will just become more high profile so it will be very important to have that formative ongoing assessment. When we've done area it was centimetres cubed because we're looking at a two dimensional but with volume we're looking at a three dimensional because you created a 3D to make you, your understanding clear. Cubed. Superb. So it becomes centimetre cubed, well done. So put your units on. So it's well, that's excellent because you've man you've absolutely met my objective there. You've used the formula and inputted the numbers you needed to to work that out. That's superb. So your circle wasn't massive on that occasion, was it? No. So my challenge to you now is go and do me a bigger circle. One of the criticisms of levels was that they were difficult for parents to understand. A child coming home telling the parent they are 4C, it would be difficult for a parent to realise what that actually means and what they can do and not do the new system will be much clearer and parents will be able to get a better understanding of how their children are progressing. We brought the children outside because I wanted to see whether they could use and apply the knowledge and skills that they've learned inside when looking at area and perimeter and circumference and I wanted them to come out to see that if I gave them the same, similar activity in a different context with a real life context to it, I wanted to see they could use and apply that into it. For me, assessment within a school is key. All schools need to look at what they're doing in terms of assessment on a daily basis. Teachers' records, teacher assessments need to be accurate. Within schools, within year groups, teachers need to moderate to ensure that what they're saying about pupils is consistent and reliable. It'll be done. If, if, if not daily, we will change planning, planning will be changed on a daily basis to implement whatever needs to be done for the children for the following day and it will be tracked on a, t on a termly basis as well and a half termly basis which I think we will hope to fill in on a four week cycle to make sure that all data is, be is being kept on top of. So, question one is what length of material, either wood or stone, depending on what we decide, will be needed to outline all of the new beds? So all the beds you've just written down now, how are we going to find out what's needed for the, all of the outlines, Kane? Okay? You don't have the circumferences. Superb. All the perimeters and all the circumferences and we're going to add them together. together. So you're going to need each other's figures to do that, aren't you? Right, so six of you, you need to get your heads together and I need a figure for length, I need a figure for your volume and I need a figure for the area. Go. You need to get together and work it out. Do you have to read all the... In my opinion, those good or better schools are likely to have good or better assessment systems within the school. It's a key to being successful. It's an opportunity for the profession to grasp the nettle in terms of assessment and moving the system forward so that all pupils will be able to achieve their maximum potential.